Oh yeah, see it hanging out of his mouth? All right, so I figured I'd revisit the common tomato hornworm. Now, somebody had mentioned to me that there's a couple of different types of these hornworms, and they said that the main difference is that the horn on it, on one type is red, and the other one is like a different color. So this is the red horn, whatever that means, and I'm not quite sure if I have any of the other ones available. And all oh, these frogs love these things. They could munch one of these down. I'm going to feed them to the frogs in a minute. I'm going to show you me doing it too. But I don't see any of the others types around. But yeah, this this is a beautiful shot of this tomato hornworm. I'm trying to get the lighting right on it. And it's just a wonderful looking tomato hornworm. You hear the noise? You hear? You can, I don't know if you can hear that. You hear that thing? A little noisy little guy. He's making some kind of a protection noise. But yeah, I, I haven't had too many tomato hornworms this year. This is one of the few. I picked off maybe two or three altogether, including this one. So I haven't had a whole lot of them. But yeah, they're out there. They're definitely out there. In fact, we'll see if we can dig up another one. And let's see, where are you? You can see the damage they do to the tomato plants. They will eat the entire tomato plant right down to almost nothing left. I mean, look at the size. Look at the size of these turds. These tomato hornworm turds. I mean, you're going to tell me that this is just a regular insect? I mean, these tomato hornworm, look at the size of those turds. I mean, that is, look at, compared to my finger. Look how big those turds are. That is incredible. I can't believe the size of these turds I'm looking at. There's only one thing that can produce turds that big. You know, you almost want to keep these tomato hornworms around at the end of the year. Uh, you know, around long enough so at the end of the year when you're ripping your plants down, you can chuck all these tomato hornworms into a bucket with the tomato leaves and let them chew it and they'll make this insect frass. You know, that's, I mean, that's good sized turds there. That's incredible, actually. I've never seen them that big before. Oh, monster turds. I'm looking for him, though. He's on here somewhere. He's on here. And I just don't see him. I pulled one off of here the other day, so that very well could have been him. I just didn't notice all these huge turds. Man, he must have laid a lot of them to land them up on there like that because, you know, half this plant is chewed off. Look at that. That's half chewed off. He chewed off the, off the whole plant. Not that I care. This is the uh, Everglade tomato, so I don't really care about the Everglade tomato plant. I just let it grow wild this year for fun because most everything else wasn't doing good, and the Everglade tomato seems to do good no matter what you do. But where is that little horn worm? Yeah, my, my frogs love these tomato horn worms, you know. Oh, they love them. And they love me when I, when I put them in there for them. You're going to see that in just a second. I just want to see if there's any more of these hornworms. I mean, yeah, there's more. There's a lot more. Wherever you got tomatoes, you're going to have tomato hornworms. See? You can see the damage. This is how I try to find them. You can see the damage they do. And they just crawl. Oh, there he is. I see him. Look at that fat so. Yeah. Look, he's showing his fangs. You see that? You see how vicious that little hornworm is? He's showing me the underbelly of how vicious he could be. Well, we're going to put you with your brother over there. 
And no matter how many of these hornworms you pick off every year, I mean, I some years I've picked off well over a dozen of them. And it just seems like no matter how many of these things you pick off, every year they keep coming back. Every single year. I don't offhand don't see any more. I'm sure there's in here, believe me when I tell you. Especially on this tomato plant over here, because this plant has grown absolutely enormous, so there's got to be something in there. This is my friend, Mr. Spider. Yeah, he, he hasn't been hungry or anything lately. He's He broke his web, and he I've been trying to feed him, and he's not eating. But today's video is about the hornworm. I got to go in there and harvest the rest of those. You can see how many Everglade tomatoes I got. I got them everywhere. I got to harvest them. But anyway, let's go and show you what you've all been waiting for. And that's my frogs getting to eat a big meal. Well, look, it's trying to bite me or something. Look at that thing. That thing's crapping and pissing on my hand and everything. Look at all the rinky juice. It's, look at the tomato juice that's pissing on me. This one's mellow. Look at that. See, they pee on you, they lay turds. The size of chiclets. I mean, these are. Look at him. Where is he? He's trying to come off the leaf now. <laughs> yeah, the, look at my frog. See, I threw it near a frog. Where is the frog? The frog's in there. Just can't see him. There he is. There you are. He's a hungry frog. He's getting ready to suck that big worm down. Right there. <laughs> the frogs are jumping in the water as I'm throwing stuff in there. Look at him. There's one. He, <laughs> he, he was waiting for me to throw that thing in there. See him? Yeah, big tomato hornworm over there moving away. That frog's about to woof. He's looking right at it, too. He's thinking, how am I going to get that thing in my mouth? Look, the other one came. Ooh, ooh, ooh. Look at that. Did you see that? Man, that was a battle that thing went through to eat that tomato hornworm. He got him, though. Wow. I think he pulled the whole tomato leaf down in there. Wow, that was something. I don't know if I got it on camera or not. But, yeah, they're waiting for me. They're waiting. I got my little frogs trained like little dogs. They're waiting for me to feed them by hand almost. I should feed them by hand. They're getting used to me enough. See him? He's waiting right there. He's right by my toes. They come to me when I come over here because they know that I'm loaded with those cabbage loopers and these tomato hornworms. And there's a big one over there, though, and then nobody's eating it. Oh, there he goes. There he goes. Watch this. Look at him. That thing's bigger than him. He's a little toad. He's a little frog. <laughs> Look at him. Look at him struggling with that thing. Holy smokes. Wow, he pulled that thing to the depths of the pond. Oh, no, there it is. It's still in there. Where is it? Look, he's trying to eat that thing. He's, he can't get it off the plant. I should have pulled it off for him. He can't get it off the tomato plant. He's going to eat it with the tomato vine on it and everything. He, look at him. 
There he goes. Look, even the fish are like, wait a minute, I want some of that. Sometimes he splits them in half so the insides come out. It's like a dessert for the fish because they start laughing up on the guts and the cream that comes out of that thing. Man, they eat the cream from the... Such a big... Man, look at him. He's turning all over in there like a shark. <laughs> That's great. These guys, believe me when I tell you, he's going to struggle with that thing for a little while. He'll get it eventually. I still see him in there. He's in there. It's right there. It's underwater. He's waiting for that thing to let go a little bit. Those hornworms are hard to get off the leaf. Oh, well. I guess you got to see the majority of it, so... That's my way of controlling tomato horn hornworms in my garden. Hope you like this video. Don't forget to like, share, and subscribe. And I will see you on the next one. Take care. There he is. You see the thing hanging out of his mouth? He's sitting there with the tomato vine in his mouth and everything. He don't care. He's going to get him down. He'll spit that tomato vine out eventually. But he's going to eat that worm. And I got the other one right here. Look, he surfaced. Where are you? Right there. See it? Got the glare. There you go. Oh yeah, see it hanging out of his mouth? He could barely fit that thing inside of him. But he's not going to give up. He's a fighter. He'll get that worm down. That's a, that's a meal for like two or three days for this animal. Believe me when I tell you, that's going to fatten him right up for the winter. You can see the goldfish are swimming around right next to him over here. They're all hoping to get some of the the guts that come out of it. Look at that. Yeah, that's it. That's the tail end of it. All right. Don't forget to like, share, and subscribe. And I'll see you on the next one. Enjoy.